E from MarketWizards.com and eminiwizard.com on the uh, 6th of March, 2019. It's about 20 after 11. Reminding traders to use risk capital you can afford to lose. We've had a nice V bounce. <coughs> We'd suggested that make sure you're paid 75s. Use 72 support if you're going to try a profit taking bounce. Should have some profits from the swing short side if you want to risk it, especially if you're trying to buy without an angel in place. Primary target, we thought today, if we could get down to that 78, 79 area, good fortune below, hopefully a little bit lower, perhaps the 75 area. There's a breakdown. Remember these traders who, boom, I gotcha, yay, I'm going up to the moon. Oops, 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 oops. I said, they're going to take out these guys probably, and then they may even take out the low. Oops, got the 80s. Buy right in here, stalls, comes back down through, and then goes down to look for support. And this is a V bounce. <laughs> These are all black bars. These are all white bars. Learn to distinguish who's in control of a bar because it'll show you where you can get your big <clears throat> reactions from. Anytime you have solid run, you know that, okay, big boy in control, boom, big boy in control. Big boy in control back here and a reactionary trade. And this is the intraday range. Said make sure you are paid 82s to 84s. You want the 85s to 86, you're probably gonna have to suffer a drawdown. <coughs> you know, this is the, I, uh, this is the day's middle. And while we could get up there, the safest thing is make sure you're paid coming into the retest of yesterday's low. Normally it will go just above that low. Everybody thinks it's got to stop right at it. Usually it won't. Usually it'll go up at least a point above it. So the real secret now is obviously this next rotation. We've had a four box move. <clears throat> so if you want to look at a four box move, then it's relatively easy to say, okay, so where's the middle of this swing from the low to this high? And we can assume that this box right here is now the middle of that swing back here at 79.75. So it's really important on a retest <clears throat> that if it gets hit, it's gotta stay under that prior low. And if not, then it's still bouncing. So this is a very simple way to understand this last swing and perhaps where the middle of that swing is. Anybody that's taken a short <clears throat> continuation type trade, don't think about it for a new low. Think of it as a scalp from the long stake and profits. This is called sequence trading. And this is what I think we do very well. Most traders will call their <clears throat> big ideas here, there and everywhere, but they can't understand rotations and just apply some simple basic ideas to these smaller swings. Anybody gets close to this 80 area, 79, 75, 80. Make sure you're paid. Stops down. 
This is the art of trading, understanding <clears throat> swings and who is in control. Now, if the longs push from this support zone, I've got uh, 78 and a quarter, by the way, as our angel, and take out this high, then the low is probably in. Bingo, right there. So all I did was was took this big block right here, and I said, Where, where's the half? And it's gotta be right there. If you took this trade, good for you. It's a trend trade. Because of the steepness of this, I'm not thinking big moves south side now, especially since we're coming to an end of the morning trades. Make sure you get paid if, you, if you're back here into that 80 area. Just a scalp with a trend and that's the icing on the cake for you. And if you're buying long side now, thinking the low is in for the day, <clears throat> gotta use the low of the day as your stop. Don't, don't ever let a good trade like this go get you in a new low. So you use the low of the day as your stop. <laughs> and then this is gonna be your aggressive buy zone. No one knows until hindsight. Not me, not anybody. I'm just trying to teach you a few of the things that taken me years to learn. And hope it helps. And marry it up with an idea. Let's just retest the low. And retest prior <clears throat> support. Now resistance. And you get yourself into the 79. Look at the red line pushing here. It looks like 78 and a quarter angel. Good trade. Anybody's got this locket. Stops down. There, there's some days you can just feel the rhythm and, and that's what I try to do. Feel the rhythm. I don't have news on, I don't have the TV on, I have no clue what was said today. I have no clue what's going on in Twitter. I haven't even looked at that. I, I don't want all that noise in my head. I want to be one with the market. Okay, we're using the idea today of 72 to 73, big idea of support, and if that can't hold, uh-oh. So <clears throat> we may get some quiet time at lunch. And I said we had the right to hit the, hit a bounce one more time, maybe two. So so this would be the first that I would consider, and then the second, maybe sometime at lunch or or you know after you know, closer to the end of lunch. And you're gonna miss some trades just because you're taking some time away from the market. It's the way it works. Anybody that's got a winner here with a trailer up to you for a retest the lows. Uh, I'd say a conservative approach is make sure you're paid by 78 and a quarter. I'll check this and see why this didn't register because that should be your angel right there, this bar. And it's never re-registered re a new one, should, because it's clearly an angel. And if it doesn't work for you, then go in, you can do that manually. There's a place to set those uh, yourself. <clears throat> we had said that this becomes 
your next support. If we break the green box, which we did. So that's our support box. And we said, so that gets moved down. And then this becomes the fighting box and this becomes our resistance box. Just move them down. So we already know what the next support box is if we break the green box. One step at a time. And I've got this uh, set on a 30 minute. Oh, it tells us 88 resistance for now until broken. And someone who takes a contra and then says, okay, I got a winner here. You know, you give back a lot of it. And that's where you lose some confidence. So I, I'm a big believer in the hit and run approach. You know, try to pick those ranges and snag a few points out of the swings. So one was predictive and the other is an actual range. And here's our actual, the 74. Obviously this 80 and a half zone we talked about and then this 87. So theoretically, this is our resistance right now. We've, we've held this box, we bounced to the fighting box and this is still our resistance. And then we know down here is our support if this breaks. A lot of different ways to look at the market. And the most important as time elapses is, are we under or over the previous day's low? So this 82 to 83, I said, will shape up as a pretty big idea today. Hope you had a good morning.